Hi everybody, it's Stephanie from thefitrv.com and we are about to do a resistance band workout. So make sure you grab your resistance band and all you're gonna need is a wall or a counter or something to hold on to for a couple of our exercises. Otherwise, you ready to get going? We're gonna start right away with a tricep exercise. So grab your handles, make a big smiley face with your band. Then you're gonna choke up on your band so you also have some of the colored part in your hand like this. Holding it like this, now that you got that, get your feet nice and wide in a sumo stance. Point your toes out. So your arms are gonna do this. You're gonna extend your arms and then pull the band in. See how my elbows are out to the sides? Now we're gonna add a squat to that, watch this. We're squatting and coming up. So this is our first exercise, it's a full body exercise pretty much working all our major muscle groups. Elbows are opening up, pulling the band out nice and wide, opening up your chest using good posture. I'm gonna turn so you can see what it looks like from this side. So you're sticking your hips back. So you're not rounding your back when you do this exercise. With any squat, you wanna make sure your weight's mostly on your heels. Just like that, let's do four more. Three, I'll come back at you. Two, and one. All right, now we're gonna put our coats on, which just means you're swinging the band around your back. So the band should be up around the upper part of your back. And now we're gonna choke up again. So you're gonna grab some of the colored part of your band. So you have a grip on the band like this. Because we're about to do a press, but you wanna make sure the band is tight enough so you feel like your muscles are working. So choke up far enough on the band that it's nice and tight and it's hard for you to push forward. If it's easy, make the band tighter. Now, we're gonna add a lunge to this. So we're gonna step forward and back. Now use your other foot. So we're alternating lunges. You're up tall with good posture as we do this. I'm gonna turn to the side. So you're driving your elbows back when you pull the band back and then you're straightening your arms to the front. This one's working our chest. Nice and slow. Keep lunging. I'll come back at you. All right, let's do three more. Two and one more. Nice, you should be getting warmed up by now. Take your coats off, gang, and now is where you're gonna need that wall. So grab the wall, and then I want you to put the band around your foot, just one foot, and you wanna make sure it's under the arch of your foot. Then, with your opposite hand from the band, you're gonna grab under the handles, grab the colored part of the band. And you see how I'm in a nice split stance? It's like I'm in a lunge, holding on with my free hand. We're gonna row by pulling our elbow behind us. Let me turn so you can see what I'm doing. So make sure it's your opposite arm that's rowing. Pulling your elbow back and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blade into your spine. So you're really working those back muscles and your biceps while we do this. Nice and slow and controlled. Pretty background I have, isn't it? We're in Utah at Jordan L State Park. Love it here. One more, Woo, good job. Okay, now keep the band under that foot. We're gonna now do a lunge back on that same side. So I'm lunging back and up, lunging back and up. Now this is not a step back. You need to keep your weight down on the band, on the foot that's got the band around it. So you're pretty much just tapping back like there's a puddle or something back there and you wanna just be careful and just gently tap into it. Back and up. Try to see if you can get your foot way back there into a nice deep lunge. So we're also getting a stretch as we strengthen. Let's just do two more on this side. One more. Awesome, nice job. Okay, so now we wanna to switch to the other side and do the other foot. You're probably gonna to wanna to turn around, use your wall. So you're holding on. So if I had a wall over here, I'd be holding on right here. The first one we're gonna do is the row. 
We're repeating that exercise we did on the other side. Make sure the band is under the arch of your shoe for safety when you do this. Make sure you're up nice and tall in a split stance, pulling your elbow back. Feel your shoulder blades squeezing into your spine. Really wanna work those back muscles. This is an excellent exercise. Helps us stay strong, picking people up. Our little grandbabies picking them up, picking groceries up. This exercise will do that one. All right, we got two more on this side, guys. And here's our last one. Awesome. Pull your feet together. We're gonna go into that lunge back again. Remember, keep your weight down on the band. And then we're gonna lunge back and come up. Lunge back and up. Working to get your foot nice and far back there, but remember your weight stays on the front foot where the band is, because you don't want that band to come out. So keep your weight down on that foot. Other foot's just tapping back. We got three more. Two. And one more. All right, nice job. We're done with those two exercises. Now we're gonna step on the band with both feet and go into a hammer curl. So make sure the band's under the arches of your shoes. Make sure your feet are just under your hips. And then we're gonna grab the color part of the band under the handles again, so you're not using the handles. Oop, I got a, the wrong grip on it. Thumbs should be up, thumb side up. So make sure you're gripping them just like I am right now. And we're gonna do a hammer curl by bringing the bands up towards our shoulders and then back down. So, you wanna make sure your elbows stay close to your sides. You wanna make sure your core is tight and you're up with good posture. I'm gonna turn so you can see me from the side, what this looks like, good posture. Up tall, elbows pretty much stay down at your sides. It's called a hammer curl because of the way your palms are turned in, as opposed to a bicep curl when your palms are turned up. It also works your biceps, just like a bicep curl does. It also works a little muscle called your brachialis, too. Two more. And one more. Awesome. Okay, now let's stay here and we're gonna go into a little squat. And I'm glad I'm sideways because I wanna talk about how to squat properly. Our feet are in that same shoulder width position, bringing your hips back. Weight's pretty much on your heels, not on your toes. You're squeezing through your core every time you come up and you're squeezing through your glutes. So a squat isn't complete until you get that squeeze at the top. So practice getting a nice squeeze at the top going down as low as you can. Let's do two more squats. And one more. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, let's hit your core a little more with this next exercise. In one hand, grab both of the handles. And in the other hand, grab the middle part of the band so you got it nice and tight. Get your feet wide apart in that sumo stance again, and we're gonna draw an eight like this. We're gonna draw it from one side to the other side. So you're drawing a nice big eight. You're using the space around you. Really reach so your core is working. Be mindful of your core, keeping it tight as you twist and move your body through this exercise. So really reach, pivot your foot. Look at how one of my my heel is coming up when I reach the opposite direction. Let's do two more. Here's the last one. All right, nice job, guys. Now, we're gonna go into a tricep exercise, so all I want you to do is drop your band like that, holding the top handle, pulling that top handle in your chest now. So it's touching my chest, see how it's touching me? With your other hand, grab the colored part at the lower part of your chest, and all we're gonna do is pull it down. So now we're working the under part of our arms. The ladies that I train like to call it their chicken wings. 
just like that. Pulling it down. Keeping good posture as we do this. Really try to straighten your arm down as much as you can with your band. We got two more. And here's our last one. Awesome. Now we got to switch to the other side. Get that strap in there. You can hold it however is comfortable. If it's more comfortable for you to keep your elbow in and hold it like this, that's okay too. And then the other arm just pulls down. Same thing, we've got good posture. Core is nice and tight. Ooh, keep going, I'm feeling my triceps. Let's do three more. Two. And one. All right, awesome guys. All right, let's go into a stretchy warrior. So those of you who know yoga know what I'm talking about. A warrior just means you're gonna get in a lunge like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep bringing the band up, stretching as we lunge forward, sort of at a diagonal. So I'm taking my foot forward at a diagonal, pulling the band up and back as far as I can. So here, let's make it dynamic. Let's move through it, just like that. Nice and slow, stretching up. One more, awesome. And let's go the other direction, same thing, but now we're using the other leg. Nice and slow, stretching and lunging. Two more, and one more, awesome. All right, let's repeat those exercises. So the first one we did, we were in a sumo position and we started stretching the band here. So remember to get in that position, you start by holding the handles and then you're gonna choke up on the band. Elbows out to the sides. Stretch the band and squat. Here we go. Now that you're all warmed up, let's go deeper into the squat. Really choke up on the band. So you're doing a nice tricep. Challenge your triceps. Get as tight as you can on that band. So you're really working your arms. You're getting low into your squat. Keep going. Almost there. Two more. And one more. Awesome, you guys. Coats back on for a second time. All right, so the band is swung around your back. You're gonna choke up on the band because we're going into that chest press again that we did in the beginning. So choke up the band nice and tight and we're gonna do the forward lunge as we press. We're alternating feet as we lunge forward. All right, you're all warmed up. So I really want you to get deep into that lunge. Push yourself. Make sure the band is hard. You're really choked up on the band, so it's nice and tight. This should feel challenging for you. You guys are doing great. You're still with me, so good for you. We got four more to get through. Keep going, guys. We got two more. One more, and press, good. All right. Grab your wall again. We're going into that single row. Put the band around the arch of your foot that's near the wall. Holding onto the wall with your other hand, grab the colored part of your band. Here's where we're gonna do that row. Looks like this. We're in a split stance. Get yourself all set up and join me. So your elbow's coming back and in. Working that shoulder blade, working your lats. Core is tight, you're up with good posture. Doing great, you guys. Two more. One more. All right, and now put your other foot next to the band foot. This is where we're doing those lunge backs, right here. Remember, your weight stays on the forward foot. So keep your weight down on that band. Do a safety check. Make sure you're always checking down at your band to make sure it's under the arch of your shoe. All right, and we're tapping our foot back. You 
guys are doing great. It feels so good to get the heart rate up, get your workout in for the day so you can start your fun RV adventures. All right, here's our last one. Great job, you guys. Okay, switching to the other side. Putting the band under the arch of your shoe. Check it, make sure it's there. Putting the handles in the opposite hand, grabbing the colored part under the handles. Grab your wall. Uh, oh, the first one we're doing is the row. So let's go back to that row. Pulling our arm back here, just like that. Pulling your elbow back. Kind of think about leading with your elbow when you do these. So your elbow's in charge. You're pulling it back and in. Core's tight. If this feels easy, you should choke up on the band more, make it even tighter until it feels more difficult for you. Here's our last one. All right, put those feet together. We're going into the lunge back. Ready, here we go. Lunging back and up. Remember your weight is staying forward. You're up tall. Tapping that foot back gently as far as you can, because we're working your leg muscles. You're gonna feel your quad working, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Okay, we got two more. And last one. Okay, we're getting there. We're so close, you guys. You're doing great. Step on the band with both feet. We're going into those hammer curls again. You're gonna grab under the handles, under the handles, so you have the colored part of the band, and then we're just curling up and down. Just like that in our hammer curl. Elbows stay down, do a posture check. Are you up tall? Is your core tight? Are your shoulders back and down? Is your chin back, neck long? If it was yeses to all that, then you get an A plus. Your body shouldn't be moving. I'm gonna turn, you don't turn but your body shouldn't be moving, only your forearms are moving. We got three more, two, one more. Awesome, good job you guys. Okay, we're going into the squats, so stay here. We're going into those nice deep squats, far down as you can go. Remember all your good squat form mechanics. Hips are coming back, heels are down, Back is almost like it's arching when you come down, so you're not rounding your back. Three more. Two more. And last one. Awesome. All right, let's stretch it out with some crazy eights. Grab both handles in one hand. Grab the middle part of the band in the other. Feet are wide, and here we go. We're stretching to both sides, drawing nice big circles side to side. Core is tight, because that's what we're trying to work. Pivoting one foot as you shift your weight to the other side. It's almost like a dance. It feels kind of dancing when you do this. Keep going, really reach, use the space. Hog up that space all around you. Four more, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, now we're going back into that tricep exercise. Grab the handle, pull it in your chest, hold it there however is comfortable for you. Get it against your chest. Grab the colored part of your band, pull down. Just like that, pulling down. Pull it down, you're gonna feel the chicken wing, I guess working keep pulling it down good job three two and one awesome now we're doing the same thing on the other side hold it into your chest however you feel comfortable just like that keep going working your chicken wings <laughs> Awesome, four, three, two, 
and one. All right, you guys, now let's do our last stretch, our stretchy warrior. This is where we're gonna make our Y up overhead. So choke up on your band so you can make a Y. And we're gonna lunge forward in our warrior pose, finishing with a nice stretch. And you'll be able to start your day feeling good about getting your workout in. Great job staying with me through this whole workout, you guys. That's awesome. Oh, and now the sun's coming out too. All right, other side. Feels so good. The sun's warming me up. Almost done. Let's do two more. Last one. All right, you guys, and that completes your resistance fan workout for the day. Great job getting your workout in. Have a fantastic day of RV adventures, and I'll see you on the road. Bye.